It's Money Monday and I'm Jasmine Neal, your life and business catalyst and your spending strategist. And I want to talk about faith, food, and finance. So this coronavirus has impacted people of color at disproportionate numbers in terms of deaths um, and negative effects. And when we think about that, it's mostly because of chronic conditions that many of us have. Now, I work in healthcare, so I was pretty aware of this in advance of coronavirus um, coming into existence. So as we begin to see these things play out, I think we need to take a long and hard consideration um, around what we eat, why we eat it, and how we can change what we eat and what we've normalized as normal. I know in the black and brown community, I often hear, um, I'm going to get diabetes because my mom had diabetes, or I'm going to have hypertension because my grandparents had hypertension. I'm going to have heart disease because my great grandmother died of heart disease. These statements are so not true. You have a choice on what you feed your engine, which is your body. So if you are able to, really consider changing your diet. Take the time to learn about new foods. My family and I have began, begun a vegan journey, and it's like Betty Crocker and Mr. Sam Bass um, cooking, cooking up a storm here, testing out different things, piloting different things, util utilizing ingredients we knew existed in a store from the beginning. However, we never saw them. So think about that. We all shop in the same grocery stores typically, and flaxseed has been there this whole time, miso, um, um, what's that other thing we just ate? I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, we're learning, we're experimenting all over here. Sea moss, you name it, uh, vitamins, different types of fruits. You know, the there are so many more things to eat than the things we've been taught to eat. And most of us have been taught to eat unhealthy. And literally that has a financial impact for the rest of your life if you don't get the ingredients that should be in your body in there and the ones that shouldn't be out. I remember I used to enjoy eating cocoa bread and cheese and um, and a soda, and that would be lunch, or a bag of chips and um, a soda, and that would be lunch. Those things were so unhealthy for me and pretty much had no nutritional value, and um, this is what we passed down to our kids. This is what we were passed down from our parents, these simple, cheap meals that get us by to the next meal but can be ravaging our bodies. Um, eating from boxes, you know, I didn't know any better. That's how I was eating. That's what I was feeding my kids, you know, Kraft macaroni and cheese, um, you name it, cave in a box or a package. That was what we did. Rice a roni, pasta packs, all of that massively high in sodium, which leads to hypertension. So this Money Monday, I really want you to think about the food that you're putting in your body. Um, there must be a reason that the Bible said don't lust after things. Not only people, but anything about food, about um, money, uh, whatever it is that you can think about. In addition, it tells you to be wise about what you put in your body, what you feed your body. Um, so think about it. What could you change in your diet? Just start with one thing. Just drink more water. You know, if the community of color contracts coronavirus, the odds are already against you. They're not in your favor, especially if you have diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, anything that that compromises your immune system. We need to begin to stop embracing these diseases as though they belong in our genealogy. They do not. When we break generational curses over finances, let's also do it over our food. I'm Jasmine Naylor. Have a blessed day.